So my worst fears have been realized. Alexander Povetkin did indeed test positive for a performance enhancing drug, meldonium. And the fight with Deontay Wilder, which was Wilder's mandatory defense of his WBC heavyweight title, has been cancelled. Povetkin's team had talked about the fight possibly being postponed, but from all the reports I'm seeing, and from what Team Wilder have said so far, it's very much cancelled for now. Could it happen in the future sometime? We don't know. The WBC are going to have to conduct their investigation and get to the bottom of exactly what happened. And then we'll see where we go from there. There have been lots of talk back and forth about why Povetkin tested positive. Uh, he and his team have admitted that, they, that Povetkin has taken meldonium as late as, I think, September last year. But the test results from Nevada tests this year showed that Povetkin must have taken mel meldonium this year. That's what they seem to indicate because he was tested four times, I believe. And in the first three tests, Povetkin came up clean. No meldonium, nothing. But in the fourth test, which was conducted just a few weeks ago, he came up dirty. Meldonium in his system. So there's no way that he could test positive three times and in the fourth time test positive if he took it last year. It don't make no sense. And this is not a situation where Povetkin is shrugging his shoulders saying, I, I don't know what this substance is. Maybe I've been spot. No, there's no spike in here. This is a situation where this guy has admitted to taking this substance. And there are people running around saying, well, it weren't banned last year, so it can't be that bad. What are you talking about? Do you know how many substances there are out there? It's not about it's not that bad. If it wasn't that bad, it wouldn't be on the list. It's on the list because it's deemed to be a performance enhancer. Okay, there are certain drugs which are on the list because they're illegal in terms of just illegal in society in general. It's against the law to have them. And there are certain drugs which could be a danger, a physical danger to the person using them while they're in a boxing ring. So those end up on the list. And then there's drugs which are deemed stimulants or performance enhancers. And those are on the list. Okay, And it's a, it's a case of VADA and WADA constantly updating their list all the time when they find other drugs and other substances which they deem to be performance enhancers. So it's an ongoing process of them trying to discover which are the performance enhancers. And meldonium is most certainly a performance enhancer. It is a drug which allows people to train harder. It increases blood flow and what have you. Now, I'd said in my previous video about this that I'd long been suspicious of Alexander Povetkin. Who knows? What else he's taken? Maybe he's only taken this. Maybe he's taken something else. And what PEDs do, they don't, you don't take a PED and then instantly just, bam, you turn out like Mr. Universe. It don't work like that. PEDs allow you to train harder. And because you can train harder and recover quicker, depending on the PED, they allow you to train harder, recover quicker. And therefore, you can get leaner and you can increase your muscle mass. People have been saying, oh, Povetkin's just been doing different type of training. That's why he's leaner now. And that's why he's got, bit, you know, more muscle and less fat. I mean, you're acting as though it's an either or situation. It's not either you train hard, train harder, or you take a PED to achieve those results. No, it's both. You take a PED, which allows you to train harder and get those results. That's how it works. Yeah, <laughs> let's not get it confused here. So, Povetkin has got a lot of explaining to do. His team's got a lot of explaining to do. And this is a very sad situation. Obviously, I wanted the fight to go ahead. We all wanted the fight to go ahead. But because of Povetkin and his people and their decisions, it's not going to. It is what it is. Uh, there are some idiots out there. And they are idiots. These are people who have very, very dubious ulterior motives 
But there are idiots out there saying that Deontay Wilder has ducked the fight because the fight's no longer going ahead. I mean, what absolute foolishness from people saying he's ducked the fight. Deontay Wilder had signed for the fight. If he was going to duck it, he could have relinquished his belt and done something else, get a fight with, you know, some, some, uh, one of the other champions. If he really wanted to duck, he didn't duck. A lot of you people said he was going to, you know, were saying he was going to duck, but he didn't. And you get, you didn't retract what you were saying before. You didn't give him credit for actually taking the fight. You said, oh, man, he just swept it under the rug. All the stuff you've been saying before, guaranteeing that he was going to relinquish his belt. He didn't relinquish his belt, which showed a lot of you people up to be idiots predicting that he would. And now he's pulled out of the fight or his team or whatever the case may be because Povetkin has failed his drug test and you're trying to say he's ducking. Man, you've got some serious, serious ulterior motives when you're saying stuff like that. And you know what? I don't even want people like that on my channel. So I might even just stop blocking people who are coming out with ridiculous stuff like that. You know, because I allow all types of different opinions and, and what have you. And that's cool. We've all got different opinions. We all might see a situation a different way. But when somebody is saying something like this, it's clear they've got some type of ulterior agenda and it's got nothing to do with boxing. When they're saying that Wilder's duck in this fight now. I mean, people, please stop it. Don't bring that filth to my channel. Yeah, let's keep it boxing here. Let's keep it objective. If you ain't got no ability to be objective at all and you're just pushing some type of insidious agenda, get the hell away from me. Get the hell away from my channel. Unsubscribe, go somewhere else before I find you, find you talking that reckless-ish and block you. Simple as that. So if I was Deontay Wilder, I mean, I can't even say that, but just as a boxing fan, <clears throat> I hope this fight gets rescheduled. I hope that Wilder says, okay, I'll take Povetkin on as mandatory, but it's now going to be on my terms. And I hope the WBC say, okay, we'll sort a contract out, we'll sort a situation out whereby Wilder gets to defend on his 100% Wilder's terms. It will be in the USA wherever Wilder wants it to be, with whatever size ring, with whatever style gloves, with obviously the random drug testing because it worked the first time around, have everything Wilder's way, and then Povetkin can get a shot. You know, And that's being more than fair to Povetkin, given the fact he failed a drug test. Really and truly, Wilder's well, well within his rights to say, you know what, you're never getting a shot. And we don't know what the WBC is going to do in terms of a ban. They might ban Povetkin from competing in WBC contests for an extended period of time now. Um, if they don't, as I say, that's what I would like to see happen. Well, I would like Wilder to still take the fight, but do it in the US on 100% his terms. Yeah, to hell with perfect Povetkin, man. You're going to be failing drug tests? Come on. You know. Very, very disappointing because I was looking forward to this fight, people, but it is what it is. These things happen, and I guess I guess it's a good thing in a way. that show, It shows that Vada, and you know, Vada have teamed up with the WBC in the past year or so, and the fact that they are catching people like this is obviously a good thing. Um, now obviously, it, it didn't turn out well for Lucas Brown because, as I say, from the situation, the way I, the way I see it, it seems like Lucas Brown was set up and he was spiked. But Vada still caught, <laughs> you know, Vada still uh, found the substances in Lucas Brown's blood. Whether they got there by fair means or foul, they still found them. So they seem to be doing their job at the moment. And that's at least one good thing that is going to come out of this situation. So, yeah, that's it, people. As you can tell, I'm pretty disappointed because I really was looking forward to this. But it is what it is, man. Uh, Wilder just has to reassess and look to do something else now and Povetkin is going to be investigated by the WBC and we'll see what happens alright drop your comments in the comment section below people it's your boy Hatman I'm out